Hello and welcome to Kismetrising. So today I'm coming to you with another energy forecast and I've not done this in the last few weeks largely because uh, I found the energy to be fairly turbulent. It was as if we were in a storm and I wasn't quite able to grapple what this energy meant you know I felt like there were a lot of messages coming through there were there was a lot of information uh, but I wasn't able to summarize it for you and so today is not a channeled um, um, reading or a forecast but rather it's me uh, giving you a summary of what it is that I've experienced or what it is that I found to be the energy for the last weeks and what relevance it has for us in the upcoming weeks. So I have some notes uh, with me to be able to assist me. And one of the first thing I want to talk about is uh, what did the eclipse energy actually bring us? And for some of us, um, I think it, it will, for many of us, would have brought us some def difficulties or something that we needed to revisit, something that needed to be revisited from our childhood, something that needed to be revisited uh, to in terms of a relationship, a ref relationship that was perhaps a formative relationship for us um, it would have also brought us uh, various other aspects like it might it may have brought some people some people may have been involved in some kind of scam or they 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 may have suff been uh, suffering from some kind of fraudulent activity uh, they may have had to people may have had to uh, take unplanned trips or, or go out of town up for a couple of days uh, without actually planning it and it would have been something that would have come up in the eclipse time and actually it went, you know, it happened and then it was, it was quickly over. And um, I feel that uh, a lot of what actually was brought up during this time was a great deal of introspection. Like one needed to go within, one needed to have the answers. And this is so important for us at this time because I consider this to be one of the more fundamental um, energies that we've experienced for several years now I can't remember a time when the energy was so fundamental in terms of um, having such an impact uh, on us all and moving us all into another stage of our lives and really uh, uh, asking us to go within and hone in on what is our truth and what is it that we actually need to let go of or what is it that we still need to heal and where is it that we need to get off you know, like, where is it that we need to step off of this bus? Uh, it's as if we've been on a journey together in terms of this energy. And it's been asking us to go back and heal and, and take apart what we believe to be ourselves and actually simply be. And in that, we've been in this space. And I think it's begun... Um, so I'm recording this on the 13th of February and um, the eclipses are long past us but we're coming up to a full moon which I feel um, has something to do with the eclipse energy and it's something that I feel that this has begun right at the beginning of January and a lot of us may have been feeling this already um, at towards the end of last year December might have been an emotional time for some of us and uh, so for some of you and it might have actually just laid the ground for some of the work that needed to be done right now or in the last month in in January and February and I feel that um, for many of us uh, the work that has been done in January and February has absolutely nothing to do with the work that we've been doing in, in December but it's actually quite an amazing energy it's it's a real gift it's a real blessing because it brings to the fore all of which we need to heal and all of which we need to work through in order for us to be the best that we can be. And this is not always the case. We don't always see this. We're not always given the support by the universe to be able to work through these issues. But um, it would have been something quite fundamental for you. It would have been something that really defines you, that you needed to let go of, you needed to work through, or you needed to heal in your lives. And this would have come to the fore for you in this last months. So I feel that uh, some of you may have experienced this in, as, health, as a health issue as well, uh, but most of you, a lot of you would have experienced this as, a, as emotional. For children, they would have experienced it as a health issue because uh, children also experience this energy, but they have not a way of understanding it uh, cognitively. And so they may have experienced it and expressed it through their bodies and they may have become more ill uh, more than you more than they they would normally be um 
I feel also that uh, some of this energy had something to do with uh, things that went on last year for you, like around October, September time, where you may have made a decision, but you've not been able to stick to it. Or you may, may have made a decision, but now was the time when you would have to reconsider whether the, this decision, had you made the right decision, could you go back and revisit the energy that was before September? Or could you go back and revisit that energy um, that was in June? And, and how does it feel? And are you ready actually to move on from this? Or are you still in that space where you are needing to reconsider, retaste what was from August, what was from June, what was the, the, the taste of what was, even though you made a decision to move on from it, so it's like you've gotten a test now, you know, to see whether you actually can stay in this energy, whether you can, whether you're ready to graduate, or whether you are still needing to work a little bit more on what it is that you need to heal within yourself. Okay, so I feel that, um, yes, it's like this energy has been here to reinforce the decision that we may have made about how we would go ahead sometime around September, October. And uh, and it was like really digging the heels in. Uh, and, and in doing so, well, digging up all issues that needed to be reevaluated, reworked through and healed, okay? Um, so, yeah, a lot of this energy has to do with uh, returning to self. And in order to do so, one needs to shed one's old skin, okay? So how does, how do we work with that? What is it that we need to do? Well, the thing is that who we are right now is a combination of all the experiences that we've had in this lifetime. Unless, of course, you've chosen to actually deliberately work on particular areas of your life that formed you and allow that to and, and let go and been able to let go of that you know so a lot of the ways in which we approach the world how we look at the world how we experience love how we able to love others how we able to simply be with others has a lot to do with everything that we've experienced in our lives and where has it led us you know so shedding that old skin what are we looking for we are looking for the innocence that we had as we were born into this world we are looking for that innocence that we had between the age of zero and four and that is what this energy has asked us for. It's asked us to go back, really go back far and really heal the huge stumbling blocks um, that has been presented to us in the past and actually just let go of that so we can have a smooth road back to that joy, to that innocence, to that energy that we had between the age of zero and four and so that we can actually move ahead and experience life anew with those fresh eyes, with that innocence and with that love, with that true love that we need to be able to, that we need to have in order to be able to be in this world at this moment without feeling the pressure, without feeling absolutely drawn down by everything that's going on around us. So um, the, that brings us back to what is it that we have, that we own, that we say is ours, but it's actually not part of us at all. Where have we grown away from our sole purpose? Where have we grown apart from what we are? So that we can't actually just go ahead and be exactly as we would be. Where is it that we are holding a skin or wearing a skin that does not belong to us? And how can we go about shedding that skin? Okay, so this comes with pain and it comes with releasing a part of ourselves and because we're releasing a part of ourselves that we've been accustomed to or that's lived with us for so long it is it can be a painful process i um i personally don't find it a, a painful process although i do believe it can be a very painful process in order to be able to get let go of this i find it um i find that the pain is there or the hurt that one needs to work with is there. But I don't feel that it's a painful process. I feel that it's a present. It's a gift from the universe. I feel that one can work through this uh, with a lot of energy of gratitude, uh, with a lot of just feeling grateful for this opportunity that we have to be able to heal all this, to have the support that we have, to be able to to help us work through these things that we have to work through. And so the question is, yeah, how have you taken this on? And when you experience the pain, is it going to linger? 
are you going to uh, get attached to it and be in a victim kind of uh, circle uh, which you cannot get out of? Or are you able to look past the pain and look at the value of it and look at what you've learned and what you what you actually can let go of at this moment and uh, and just move on with your life and simply just you know see it for what it is, observe it and actually just let go of it. And so th those are some of the questions that would have come up for us in the meanwhile. And one of the things about why is this painful? Why is this shedding? Why is releasing uh, this aspect of ourselves painful? I think um, it provides us a comfort, you know, aside from providing us with comfort, it provides us with a certain a shield from which to protect ourselves from the outside world. But the question that we ask ourselves right now is, do we actually need the shield? Is it something that's still relevant to us at this point in our lives? And I think the answer to that is no, we don't need it. And this is, we've needed it until now. You know, um, this is why it's been there and this is why it's served a purpose, but we don't need it any longer. And this is why this energy has brought it to the fore so that we may let go of it so that we can release it so, because it no longer belongs to us and it no longer serves a function in our lives. Okay. Um, so yes, these, this shield, it may, you know, serve as a self-defense mechanism it, and releasing and healing and letting go of it is an integral part of this energy. And it's, also understanding uh, that there could be pain or there could be some kind of hurt that one may need to revisit in order to be able to let go of this. Um, this is an important part of this energy and what it's brought us. And some of you may still be in that or perhaps you felt it already in January or the beginning of February and it's no longer a part of you. Um, but I feel that um, yeah, I feel that maybe for some of you, it's still going to linger around. And I feel that also, if we don't deal with it right now, and if we don't close this up, if we don't haven't worked with this diligently, and we haven't let it go, it's going to revisit us. And I was, um, I was uh, trying to channel when we would revisit this, and I got different answers. So I got April for some of us, and I got like the end of May for the rest of us, and like July uh, around the next eclipse is going to be also an important time. But I feel for most of you, it's going to be around September, October in this year of 2019 that we actually going to have a chance to revisit this. And if we have done the work that we've needed to do now, if we haven't been ignoring it, if we haven't been procrastinating, if we haven't been turning the other, uh, um, you know, our heads away from it, uh, or turning the other way. Uh, we're gonna re we're gonna have um, if we have worked with it, then we're going to be fine, okay. But if we haven't worked with it, then we are going to actually find that it's going to be really painful and really hard to finally let go and finally release some of that that we've needed to release as the year progresses, okay. Um, there are those people who won't release anything and won't let go of anything, but I believe that's a far more painful way to live. And it's a far, it's a very sad way to live for them as well as for everyone they influence or everyone they come into contact with. Uh, we are fluid, you know, and we need to move. We need to work. We need to work with ourselves. We need to actually let go of things and so that we can adopt the new. And so this is part of that process. And once again, this energy for this eclipse had so much to do with releasing and letting go that which we have not been able to see, that which has eclipsed us in the past. And for some of us, it may be for the last 20 years, you know. For some of us, it would have been since we were born, it might have been an energy that has come to us through our parents. And uh, for others of us, it may just be a few years old or a few months. Well, I don't think it's it's more than a few months old. It's definitely more than a few years old because it's something that you've gotten used to. It's something that's you've gotten uh, a great deal of comfort from that you actually now need to let go of in order to uh, forge ahead. So I think that, uh, yeah, I think that that a lot of this has to do with returning back to that age where we were raw, where we were innocent once again and recognizing how have we been framed by our disappointment how have we been, been hurt and is that real hurt and can we forgive and can we let go of and can we truly love ourselves and can we truly love those who are in our environment and how do we go about doing this and how do we go about 
loving ourselves at this core in order to be able to really taste the fruits of this life and really be significant in in how we live whether it's you know going to fetch the mail or whether it's going to the post office or going to buy a, a, a croissant from bakery are we doing this in a mindful manner and are we doing this with significance are we completely present in our love and in all our beauty as our soul presents itself or are we a package of all the experiences that we've had in our lives some of which limit us in this time so um yeah i the the the, the message that we have is to basically effectively clean the slate you know redefine ourselves redefine our future choose who we are choose who you are and choose what you want to experience in this lifetime and how do we do that how do we actually do that well firstly ask yourself what is it that you truly want not not what is it that you have been you have to have because you're limited uh, by money or by your circumstances or by your health or by where you live or by your family or by who you're married to or, or by your children yeah but what is it that you truly want in this world and if you able to feel that and it brings these feelings of butterflies in your stomach and your heart beats differently then you recognize that you've adopted a different vibration already and it's to resonate with this kind of energy this is what's important right now it's to resonate with that but also to look at and to release the pain and the hurt that we've had in our past so that we can go a step further okay so I think, um, yeah, I just want to excuse me as I pay attention to my notes here. As I mentioned, this is not a channeled uh, uh, forecast and I had to make some notes because this is uh, like several forecasts which I could have presented to you, but which I wasn't able to sit here. I was camera shy for the last few weeks. So uh, here I am to you now. So I'm just going to read the last bit uh, to you. So for many of you would, would have uh, it would have had to do with reevaluating who you are, redefining, reassessing uh, where you belong. Um, and with some of you, it would deal with family. It would have to deal with uh, things that have to do with family. It would have to do with things that, uh, with how, with others, or with how others see you. And it has to do with a kind of um, a spiritual connection that you may experience in this world with that special someone. And I think that. A part of this whole thing has what if we, where, what are we asking for we are asking what is it that we see about ourselves it's not about the others you see it might have presented as how the others see us or how the others respond to us in a particular way or family dynamics or, or dynamics with a loved one that may have presented itself in an awkward way but this isn't what it's about it's about how you present yourself and how you want to be seen and how you uh, share yourself with the rest of the world so how do we go on from here well if we've heeded the call taken the advice acted accordingly um, then we won't need to revisit this have we not if we've not well we still have some time we have a few more weeks I feel like the next three to four weeks we'll still have a bit of this energy that we can work with and uh, actually just be able to go inward seek professional help if you need to seek a healer seek a psychologist go out and speak to a social worker uh, seek the assistance that you need at this moment to be able to go forth um, with all of this it's not to say that you have mental uh, um, issues and that's why you need to see a psychologist it's just to help you in this day and age to get through what we're going through right now because we need to be able to see more clearly what it is that we need in our lives and that is very hard to see at this time and this is why this energy has come forth to be able to put that out there for us and say well who are we really and what are we really doing here and um, what is it that I want to present to the world and how can I go about doing that yeah so I'm not sure if there's more here All right, yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, I want to say that 
it's a situation that you've been banging your head against the wall for some time. You know, it's a situation where you've been struggling with or you've recognized that it's defined you, but you haven't been sure about it. And this is what needs to be worked on. And this is what needs to be healed. And um, what can I say aside from go forth, use this energy to your advantage, work on yourself, heal yourself, take the help that you need, you know, and go forth and offer yourself in love in this world. And don't be bogged down by this energy. Allow yourself to see what it is that you need to see in order for you to be able to move forth. And um, yeah, th this feeling that you have that you've been completely bogged down, bogged down or um, you know things are not going according to plan, it's part of the gift from the universe to show you where it is that you need to work and where it is it that you need to heal. So I think I've spoken at length about healing and working on oneself. And um, I hope this has been clear to you. Uh, write to me and let me know how it's been going on for you in the last weeks. And i um, sending you so much love and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. Bye then.